I brought supplies with me today. Okay, let's You did it this time. You came yeah. prepared. Oh, yeah. We've got not one, but two lead pencils. With erasers. Cause, yeah, with erasers. Because regular pencils are for chumps. Okay, then we got... Okay, because this is the animation experience. Okay. We've got the, the red and blue sketching pencils with eraser. <laughs> We've got another eraser. Are y'all catching a on? Black, a black pencil without an eraser. That's what that one's for. We've got a marker. Okay. Brush tip. Lead, and then a white jelly roll pen. So. Today we are going to Animal Kingdom. As you can see, we're gonna see some fantastic animals like that frog thing, whatever that big brown one is, and then that one that looks a little bit suspicious. So let's get going. Today we're gonna try some uh, some exotic cheese sticks and uh, some nice uh, ethnically accurate Coca-Cola. What's good everybody, Josh here and welcome back to another video and we are back here again at Animal Kingdom. This is turning into like one of the ones I'm enjoying the most right now. I don't know, there's a lot of fun things at Animal Kingdom. Really our main objective today is we're gonna go draw today as you saw Liz with her entire stash because she was that jealous of me having erased her last time. But also, I wanted to attest a theory that going on Kilimanjaro Safari in the morning is probably the best case for you. So I want to prove that to you guys today. So, let's go do this. Oh yeah, I should also mention, we're gonna see Gabby today. The one and only Gabby. The goats. And, and the, the goats. Pong was my favorite goat. When I saw him, it was his birthday for the first time. So he's my spirit animal now. My favorite one is whichever one eats Joshua's clothes. <laughs> Perk number one of getting here opening. There's nobody here. <laughs> it is a very light day. Kilimanjaro is only 15 minutes right now. So yeah, if you can help it, get here early. Seeker, Launchpad McQuack is on yet another quest to quench his thirst for adventure. Now admiring the African port town of Harambe, he's halfway through his global journey of discovery. Time sure flies when you're having fun. All righty, here we go. Those are female greater kudus to be precise. You can tell because they don't have any horns like the males do. There's an example of a male in your animal spotting guide. They have a far rock wall. Oh, but you know what? There's a second one coming up ahead. They might give us a better look. They have two? This is a very special site. There's less than 5,000 black rhinos left in the world today. Here comes that second one oh, up yeah. on the left side of our little cliff there. Now, rhinos in general don't have any natural predators, but they are poached for the horn on their head. So unfortunately, their biggest threat is us humans. Black rhinos like these are actually the smallest of the African rhino species, only about 3,000 pounds of full size. And females have those backward facing horns, pointing backwards, that way they don't get stuck on the trees and bushes. There's one really close on the right side there. Beautiful look at them. A little bit shorter than those greater kudus that we saw. A Nile hippopotamus can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. Because of that, they can't swim or float. So when they get in this river, they sink down to the bottom like a rock. And instead of swimming, they push themselves along the bottom. Crocodiles below this bridge here. Now these reptiles can be up to 16 feet long. Those long necks help them grab the leaves on top of the trees. 
Surprisingly though, there's only seven bones in their neck, the same number that we have, same as all other mammals, as a matter of fact. Now they are very cute, but these are not pets. This is one of the most successful predators on the savanna, up to a 90% success rate when they hunt, thanks to teamwork in packs. That's a very drive in the middle of the tower. Fast. Comes from the Afrikaans term wild beast. They were thought to be pretty ferocious looking when first discovered. They are herbivores though, they eat plant matter just like the other antelopes. Pretty close to the 13,000 pound size. If you look at his trunk, that's both his nose and upper lip. More muscles in his trunk than we have in our entire body. Very, very strong. Beautiful luck to the left. They're having a nice breakfast this morning. They're pretty well known for standing on one leg at a time. That's thanks to their ankle, which is a joint halfway down their legs. They can lock those ankles in place. They like to sleep that way, typically. And while they're sleeping, they'll tuck their head behind their wings to block out the sun, too. Unland. Cheetahs can reach zero to 60 in less than three seconds, the same as the launch on Rock and Roller Coaster at Hollywood Studios. But they can only keep that speed up for a short distance, takes a lot of energy. So they like to ambush their prey. The spots give them beautiful camouflage as they hide and wait. The pounds though. The lions to our left, they are not like to be very active during the day. They will rest instead, try to save their energy. Hunting is done usually at night, cleaning, of course, but they have some other purposes as well. Very compact, they don't take up much space. That means less habitat loss for the wildlife in the area. And they have a high economic value because of all the products they provide in that small space. That was a very good safari, and I think I made my point do this in the morning. Aside from the animals, I feel like also the drivers are more calm too because they're just starting their shift. But that's just what I personally feel. I'm no animal expert. I'm sure different animals are active at different times, but based on the results I think we got here today, come in the morning. And we are on the train, and I'm actually in the front car for once. Never been in this row before, so I was intrigued. All right, we made it, and we were actually the first train of the day, so that means we're the first guest of the day. Which is pretty cool. We're the first couple. Group of guests. Oh, yeah. First couple, too. Yeah. Um, we're going to go look at the schedule for the drawing classes and we'll find out what they're drawing today for the entire day. And wow. here are the sketch times for today. I don't know if the 10 o'clock is going to start because, well, it's not on the dot, so they might not cancel it. We're going to find out, though. Understood the importance of spinning. Oh, looks like they started at 10 o'clock. We'll see if we can get in. Observe and sketch the animals. Nice eraser. Fur patterns and behaviors. We may bring Bail. these characters to life through digital and So we're going to be doing Nick Wilde for this class. We'll go over the whole list later. Continue that loop. Keep your lines nice and sketchy because this is a sketching class. It's not a finished product or anything in a gallery class. Keep it light till it feels right. It's just like you two, right there. You guys are super disinterested right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one right there, exactly. Just... On this side, I'm gonna go from the side of the nose and just kind of stop on the side of the little. First sticking out from a shirt collar. Killing it. So just down here by the shirt collar. <laughs> I have a little bit of it. Just up from the eyebrow, just to inside of the oval, I'm gonna draw a little curve, which is going to go. But just blue guideline, we'll just add a little sideways letter M for some hair, and then just trace over like the top of that oval. What that's called? Practice. Practice. Practice, unfortunately, doesn't make perfect. You can't be perfect. You're human. But practice makes it better. Practice makes improvement. Practice makes you a master of your craft. So practice is really important. Throw the date on there. Today is the fifth of July. This is 
eye. His eye. Here's the schedule for today. This is actually a really good list. I think we're gonna stay for Pua because we really wanted to do Pua. You know, it's actually pretty good, mommy. You think so? Yeah. Sure. Mine is rough. He looks inebriated. Yeah, he, look, he looks and drunk. And then here's mine. I need to fix his eye. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me show you mine first. Fail. Oh, God. He actually doesn't look that bad. Right? I thought I killed it. Yeah. He doesn't look bad. Always sign your work, people. Sign your work. Oh, sorry. I didn't sign one. So the next one. You ready? What? Look at me. I need to fix his eye. I'm sorry, man. It's just creepy. <laughs> You're gonna like it, though. The next one is copper. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. Hey, was the one after that? No. Pua. Okay, good. Yeah. And we're getting right back in line to do some copper. This is gonna bother me forever. This Jack is gonna haunt me. Jack, sorry. Who, who Nick is, is gonna haunt me in my name. We're doing copper from Fox and the Hound. Does that mine look bad? No, it looks good. But the next one we're doing is a dog. You don't remember that movie, Fox and the Hound? Yeah. Yeah, we're doing the dog. Liz gave me an upgrade. Upgrade people's upgrades. <laughs> I had an upgrade and it came out the worst, so. <laughs> Maybe it's not the pencil. I like this because it's like the pencils that they use here. It's um, meant for sketching. So, his ear, cool. bro. I'm sorry. Look at his. He literally ear. told you to make it the ear like it was a mountain. So, but it looks like a mountain. That's like that was the point. <laughs> and here's Copper, and an awesome cast member gave us the one for Pua for the next one. So we'd have to get up. So what I'm gonna do is gonna go about halfway between the vertical guideline of the side of the circle, and just make a mark. It's gonna eyeball it, but it's in it on that. And uh, we also notice on our pencils, we like, just to let you know that we're in the same boat together. We're doing this as a team, and there's some point all in it, and there was a point list, so we didn't have that. Um, on this other end, my little heart, obviously, there's nothing that's happening right there. So we know it's not there, and uh, the best way to go to go around that um, okay. in a quick sketch is to draw very lightly. So with the lights, we know it's right, and we make it a little bit darker. So what I'm going to do is we'll go ahead and slide down to the side of the little sideways oval there that we got underneath. And you can see how this immediately went straight to the white line. So then we'll go ahead and make a few little uh, stretchy lines just so I've got many choices if I need them. So I fade to the background and they show a little bit of extra movement, which dogs can actually see more movement anyway over those uh, clear objects. If you have like something in front of you or like a squirrel or something in front of you, they're not going to really see that as much when that squirrel goes from here to there. And then go squirrel, right? <laughs> like that. Um, and it had a little object there for you. And then the eye, top of the eye is right there, this right oh, side. Really? And then let's go ahead and make this look like a little peanut m and Let's kind of sketch that out nice and light. Here's some. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, I'm going to make it more anthropomorphic, and it just means uh, make it a more human life. Because as a human, we can emote better with our eyebrows, show happiness, sadness, you know, angriness, or whatever that expression is. Uh, we do that best through our eyebrows. So I'm going to go above that cheek. I'm going to go ahead and follow through to the inside of that circle. And I'm going to slide up there to the first guideline. So we're just going back up the hill this time. And I'm going to go a little bit above that first guideline. Now what I'm going to do is kind of make this almost look like a staple because the staples are getting a little more square-like. For the eyebrow, kind of slush, kind of get into the wrinkles of this point. Now I'm going to come over here on the right side the vertical guideline and pull this up. Pull this across to the right side. You're going to make that kind of a number seven to start with. You know, you want to go back over here. Since I got my number seven, I'm just going to connect that so that it has a little hooking point right there. I wonder what that. pencil they use. Depends on the I'm going to stretch the huh? ears down. Not lots of dogs have the ears either low or high. Looks depends. nice. And then what I'm going to do is kind of pull this in. It's going to have a nice little wrinkle. 
I stretch it down. It kind of looks like an upside down Y, tree branch. And we're going to bring it all the way down to the blue line. So don't be afraid to go all the way down there. And again, best thing to do is use that shoulder just to keep that pencil nice and loose in your hand and not be afraid to make mistakes. Mistakes are actually good. As long as it's in a safe space, <laughs> of course. Uh, but just, yeah, just make sure that you allow yourself to make lines that you may or may not like. And I say may not, or may. <laughs> Because you may like them later on, which is always really good. Um, which there was an aspect here too with artists, you know, that you know we're always hard on ourselves as an artist, and uh, as we grow up, we continue to be that, and, uh, and you know, keep the passion. I think that's the best thing that's going to continue to make that um, journey keep going for you. And a copper on our paper. So, um, there's one last step that we need to do, and this is the absolute most important step, and I definitely want to see your name down here on your drawing. So if you can print your name or sign it if you want to sign it for I'd love for everybody's names to go on their drawings and um, date it as well. And um, it is... Uh, to take your <laughs> well, it ain't my best. But it's pretty darn good. Liz is way better than mine. And then, <laughs> I think I had the worst one out of all of them. All right, we're staying for one more, and that is to draw Pua. So we're just chilling for a little bit. Okay, Liz, go ahead. It's behind the Pua. Ta-da! <laughs> Here, do you want to add a highlight? I'll add you a highlight, Lulu. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get your copper again, because it's pretty dang good. I felt more confident with, with copper than, mm. than Nick Wilde. That's yeah, the other artist, he did go pretty fast, yeah. too. It was, I literally couldn't Which get instructions. Which is crazy, because I did better on him. <laughs> Not for nothing, but I actually like that they gave you the paper with the guidelines. You can see that one that's definitely going to be for the year. So this is nice because before <laughs> they used to just give you a blank piece of paper and they're like, oh, figure it out. <laughs> so this is very nice. You better be on your A game because a fast guy's back. Yeah, okay. It is a clear difference. When you look at my first versus my second, oh, it's... Yeah. You better be on here. Night and day, night and day, yeah. <laughs> I was literally just talking to Liz about what I just told you guys. Like, they used to do this um, animation class at Hollywood Studios, right where Little Mermaid is and where, uh, where so what used to be Playhouse it Disney. It used to be a whole animation thing. Yeah, that it, it, entire so where Star Wars Launch Bay is, that's where it was. And you actually got to sit in an animator desk, like it was Mickey shaped and it had like a nice backlight. It was really nice, but let me tell you, it was way harder because again, no guidelines. They just give you a blank piece of paper and they're like, good luck. <laughs> My family, we went there, or, well, we went there and we were drawing Stitch and they literally were making fun of me after because I like, I didn't know how to draw the guidelines. So when they said draw a circle, I was like, okay, draw a circle. And I drew it like this big. <laughs> So like his head, was like everything was just like smushed. <laughs> so like it looked so bad. Yeah. I honestly don't remember that, but if she's saying that, then it must have happened. It did happen. I, I laughed at you. Yeah. Everybody did. I'm sorry. Because we all walked outside and then we had the stroller at the time. That's how young I was. I was in a stroller. <laughs> I don't remember this at all. I was young and then we all showed each other. And then you guys started laughing at me. So they turned it around. I don't remember that. Today, we are going to be drawing the one of the only, the adorable Pua from Moana. Yeah. Look at those Pua. Yeah. Awesome. Three of you. Fantastic. Well, that was only in like five minutes of the movie, so you know, whatever. Uh, before we get started, if you guys need anything at all during the class, so we're going to go to this dash right here and then draw a hill. It's going to be a curve. I'm going to start on that L and curve down. Okay, on that dash and curve down on either side. So we get this little hill. Just like so. Then we've got this blue guideline right down here. I'm going to go just above it. Draw a little curve which is going to hit that line and go through that line. Just keep your lines nice and sketchy. It's a sketchy class, not a finished product or anything in the gallery class. I'm going to overlap this line, go a little bit below the blue guideline, and curve up. Just like so. 
like that. All right, we are going to go up from the side of the nose, right up here, between these two blue back lines. Very lightly sketch in a circle. You can see the difference between my light and my dark lines. Just like so. Right there, and right there. And Cooney Coonies are not like your normal pigs. They're very clean. They don't roll around in the mud. Uh, they're smarter than a dog. Um, left the eye and draw a little curve. Yeah, and then I'm just going to go back over it with some hair. No, pigs don't have eyebrows. That's not a thing the pigs have. Animals in general don't have eyebrows. That's a human trait. But we control all of our emotions, all our eyebrows. If I want to show them happy, sad, angry, whatever, I can do it with my eyebrows. But animals use body language. Inside, just a hill with another hill behind it. Just like that. Then you'll fill in the back. Now, um, Computer animation takes a really long time. If you've ever seen the credits of a computer animated film, if you've ever sat through them, then you know that it takes like 10 minutes to get through the credits of a computer animated film. Now, a lot of them in the trash. Don't throw them on our floor. Don't leave them on your seats. Don't put them back on your boards. Don't throw them into our plants. Don't throw them into our mouth. Those are all things that people do on a daily basis. So don't do any of those things. Either keep them or recycle them. But hey, look at that. You guys just drew. Pua, how do you feel? Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Awesome. We'll be proud of what you've done. And sign your beautiful Pua drawing. Now we have nine classes each day. And we've got... Okay. Let's do the final reveals of all of them. Well, I already showed um, Copper, so now it's just Pua. Let me keep your Pua. Well, let's review yours first. Mine is, I, I feel like I need to go over it again, but it's not bad. It's okay. A little cartoony, you know. It's a cartoon. But it's not like... 3D anime. I don't know why I forget, but honestly, I like mommy's more. Mm -hmm. She actually did a really good job. And then for the big reveal, bam! <laughs> why is this not the triangle? <laughs> I don't know, bro. You I know, tried. You need to talk. You're one to talk. What is this? <laughs> what is so that? Small. Like, what do you put there? No, I'm talking about the ear shape. You went. It looks like you drew with pen. I don't know. I struggle with Pua. Pua is not my best. And you gave him another spot. He only had one. Wait, Correct what? Him. Where's the other spot? There's only one. Where did I make more than one spot? I don't know. You gave him... Uh, you gave him... That's his eyebrow. No, but you gave him this. This is... He only has one spot. Oh, crap. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> he wasn't paying attention. Listen, I was vlogging while drawing, okay? I have an excuse. <laughs> I want to show you guys something in the petting zoo real quick. And then we're going to head out of here. Do you guys notice something familiar about this pig? This pig is a movie star. This pig is the concept of what made Pua. So you guys are actually looking at a movie star. How cool is that? And it's Gabby! We love Gabby. She was over there before, but they put her here today. She looks happy today. It's always a good day to see Gabby. Hi, buddy. This is great. I love Pongo. Alrighty, we have grown a large appetite, so we are gonna go have lunch at Saltuli's Canteen, which is one of my favorite quick service restaurants that they offer here. Oh. As an avid Lion King fan, I want to know if you guys have seen Lion King one and a half because Joshua has not seen Lion King one and a half. So he is a fake fan. I know nothing about it. But Absolutely. that's the problem. That's the pro. This is such a horrible angle. I'm like, have you seen Lion King one and a half? I'm like, like basically like this. Also all that like this. I don't, I don't know the vlogger stance. Okay, I know it's like natural to you. It's like out in the wild. Oh, hello, how are you? Like no, I like to see where I'm going so I don't ram people over. You gotta multitask. That's not easy. I don't do multitask. <laughs> That's not in my nature. But anyways, 
Um, I sound like Josh. I sound like you. I talk like you. I don't like that. Ew. Anyway. <laughs> if you've seen Lion King one and a half, uh, Let us know in the comments. No, like this video. And if you haven't seen it, like it anyway. Because you should do that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing looks good. So I got the beef bowl. Got some rice in here, slaw, some boba, and that sauce is a creamy herb sauce. Liz got the same thing, but with chicken. And without the boba. And then, oh yeah, you didn't get the boba. Because you can taste weird with the veggies, so it doesn't work. And then finally, I'm going to do my best to pronounce this. Is this I think this is a new dessert, because I haven't seen it. The like, Mekayina. Okay, there you go. Mekayina mousse. Um, I guess it replaced the older chocolate dessert that they had, but it says here, flourless chocolate cake, chocolate mousse, raspberry, gigli, gigli, what is that? <laughs> Jelly? Jelly? I don't know. They spelled jelly in the most complicated way possible. <laughs> but anyways, um, that, uh, mango, coolie, boba pearls, and a milk and white chocolate garnish. I was just finished eating the entree. They're very good. I mean, I've had them before. There's nothing really to react to. But we're trying this dessert for the first time. So that, I will give you a reaction for it. All right, here we go. Who's taking the first bite, you or me? You know what, you get the first bite, so we see that so-called cross-section. Go ahead. Careful, SpongeBob. Careful, SpongeBob. Careful, SpongeBob. Is it hard? It won't go hard. Wait, let's see that spoonful. <laughs> It just looks like chocolate. Yeah. Is this chocolate? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna try that. I want to try that. Let me try the leaf. Leaf. And I'm pretty sure this part's white chocolate. White chocolate. There you go. It tastes the same as the old one. Does it? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. got one. Oh, this is not that hard. Here's my spoon right yeah, here. That's my favorite, so I'm glad it's That's a nice color. I think it's pretty good. It's just a chocolate mousse, honestly. But very good. I actually like it a lot. Also, the boba is passion fruit. I was actually a little like hesitant because usually I don't like fruit with chocolate. But it tastes pretty good actually. I mean, there's fruit inside the cake. Raspberry. There's raspberry in that? Yeah. Well, I don't taste it at all. Look, look at it. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Hold on a minute. That's raspberry right in there. I'm gonna try it again now. All right. Now I got some raspberry on there. So good. No complaints here. Alrighty, I gotta make this quick because it is starting to rain and I don't wanna get my camera wet. But I didn't wanna leave you guys hanging. So, just wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. Okay then. <laughs> thank you so much for Thank you so much for watching this video today, guys. It was a great one. There is a sad ending. Liz and my mom are going back home Don't to pretend. <laughs> I'm not pretending. You're a party. Ba, ba, no. ba. They're gone. No, no, I have a great time when you guys are here. Are you yeah. kidding? No, I, just give it a week. We'll be back. I'm actually moving <laughs> into their closet space. At the new apartment? Yeah. Me but, and my, uh, me yes, and my dog. We're going to fit. We'll make it work. But no, in all seriousness, um, yeah, it is sad to see them go. But they will be back literally in two weeks for all I know. But um, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was a fun one. We got to do some really cool things and we got to put my theory to the test. Definitely do come with Joe Safari in the morning. I highly recommend that. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like on the way out as always. As you know, I will leave a smile on my face and hers. Smile. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what happiness is until you like the video. <laughs>
But alrighty, y'all. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. See ya. You can actually hear it thundering. So I, I guess Elizabeth was right. We really were at the Rainforest Cafe today. Oh, this is just one big rain.